Daddy Curbs. Daddy Curbs. Where are you? Daddy Curbs. I'm here. I'm here. I've, I've been lost in this messy garden. After over 10 years of sharing my homesteading story online here on YouTube, I took a little break. Okay, a long break. I haven't produced a video in over nine months. One of the big reasons why I put down the camera was this barn project. My family started erecting this barn structure in June of 2020. It's easy for me to remember the date we started because it was my birthday. What a gift. It took about six months for us to get the barn to a state where it could be considered done. But we all know, however, that the little details may linger on for a little while. Why is it that it seems that the last 10% of a project always takes the longest? I will be showing you more about this barn project in upcoming videos, but today I'd like to break my silence with this garden project. The Daddy Curbs Garden, a place that was once a source of pride and joy for me, has taken a back seat over the last few years to big projects such as the barn. And the garden has truly suffered. I started this garden it was around the year 2013 we had so much fun in here I grew a lot of different things I did a lot of different experiments but over the last few years it has become really hard to maintain just because of time pumpkin and it seems like just in a season my garden was overtaken with this grass rainstorms thunderstorms wind storms and sun exposure have all taken a toll on my little greenhouse that I used to take so much pride in. With all of the garden falling apart and all the mess, I think it's just about time we start over. <laughs> There are so many projects going on here on the Daddy Curbs farm. It's so hard to organize and prioritize. This project, the garden project, jumped to the top of the list because the gardening season is once again upon us. And I wanted to have a new garden to work in for 2022. For several years, I've been saying that I'm going to tear out the old garden in the winter so that I can be ready for the next spring. But I just never got to it. And down here is a structure that we've been using as a compost bin. We put our compost scraps in here. The chickens actually jump in, scratch around on the inside. Some of it comes through, that's okay. It's just making nice soil outside of here. But this has to move. And the chickens are going to love the fact that I moved the wire away from this because they're going to scratch all this out and spread it around. Anytime I move bricks or logs or piles, that's a good opportunity for the chickens to find lots of bugs. When we move all that compost, you can see there's lots of yummy worms in here. The soil right here under the compost pile is beautiful. Of course, it's under a compost pile. Right now we're moving this into the duck pen. I was going to put it in the chicken pen, but the fence is too tall and I didn't want to rip the fence up with the tractor. For now, we're just moving this pile to a place to where the birds can enjoy it for a little bit. Eventually, I'd like to see about incorporating a compost pile back into the garden. 
but that's part of the redesign that we haven't completely figured out yet. The Daddy Curbs garden has been a source of joy and food for our family and even some for the online community, well, the joy part, since around 2013. Over time, however, it's been growing wildly out of control. In our area, we don't often get freezing temperatures, so the weeds and the bugs are very difficult to control. In my case here, I just couldn't keep up. So while Daddy Curbs is working on the outside of the garden, Luke is working on the inside of the garden. Luke will be taking everything out and tossing it over the fence. Show me your muscles. Good muscles. All right, you ready for me to put the camera down and help? Okay, here, I'll help. It seemed that every time I turned my back, it would just become overwhelming once again. At some point, I just stopped trying. That was very sad for me. So what did I do? I ripped it all out and we'll be starting over. There you go, once you get the right angle on it. All right, let's see if we can pull this out. I'm going to take this whole top layer of the garden, scrape it off with the tractor bucket, and carry it over and put it in a big pile over there and let it compost. All these weeds, all this good soil that's been put in here over the years. I can use that around the farm to plant trees or just spread out on the yard or whatever. I don't, I don't need it to go to waste. And that way I can scrape this garden down and then put a, a weed barrier and start with raised beds on top. Here are those piles of soil, looking good, composting there, and the barn, and the garden project behind me. We're gonna be talking more about the foundation I built for the walls that's gonna be in the garden in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed this comeback video. It was hard for me to pull everything back together and get back in the groove, but I do appreciate you watching to the end. I do believe everyone has a story and every story counts. Thank you so much for being a part of my story and letting me be a part of yours.